Hey Aries and welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I am finally back you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for being patient on December 27th. Um, I'm not sure if you got the uh, message or the announcement in my community section of my channel but on December 27th I tested positive for COVID. Um, it hit me very hard, you guys, and I was out for a long time. I'm just now really getting the strength again to record. I just didn't have the voice or the strength uh, to record any readings. So thank you for those who stuck around. Thank you for not unsubscribing. <laughs> and uh, for those of you who sent emails, uh, some of you found me on social media on IG Thank you for sending me DMs, um, just all of your kind words and all of your remedies for COVID, you know, all your teas and soup recipes. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate the love and support from you guys. <clears throat> I'm still a little shaky, but I thank you guys uh, for waiting for me to be strong enough to record, okay? So let's get right into it. Happy New Year to you guys. Happy 2022. I'm just glad to be alive, honestly. I'm glad to be alive. So here we go. <laughs> Aries, what's going on with you for this coming week? Aries, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what's going on with Aries for this week? What do they need to hear and know? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Okay, what's going on with Aries? What does Aries need to hear and know? Aries. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. What's going on with Aries? Okay. Have something fly out. Okay, what's going on with Aries? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh, something flipped over. Okay. What's going on with Aries? Oh, somebody is having a really hard time keeping feelings to themselves. Look at that. As I say that, I see emotional withdrawal at the bottom of the deck. Remember, vice versa, but the characters where they go could be you or someone you're dealing with. Someone you're talking to, getting to know, does not have to be a full-blown relationship yet. Okay, so keep those things in mind. Keep an open mind as the cards come out. So yeah, obstacles and challenges are here. Someone is having a really difficult time this week. They're keeping things in their heart. Their heart chakra could be blocked at the moment or they're hiding things in their heart that they need to release, need to say. Someone is trapped in fear. Eight of swords. Absolutely, someone is trapped in fear. Someone could be feeling left out in the cold, feeling lonely, longing for you, longing to be with you. They have something in their heart and it's very emotional. I feel this energy. Someone is very emotional, whether you know this or not. And someone could be crying. So for some reason, I don't get crying with this card. Uh, mostly with Trapped in Fear, I get the energy of someone who's incarcerated. But with this card in this reading, I'm feeling the energy of someone who could be crying. Wow. Yeah. And they don't want anyone to know. Someone, like, they don't want to show their emotions. They don't want to. Someone could be alone right now. Yeah. They're sacrificing a lot or they're going through a lot with that sacrifice card. It's requiring a lot of patience. Uh-huh. When it comes to the spiritual union. Two of Cups energy. Yeah, there needs to be balance here. Okay? Okay. Something needs to be made right with when it comes to this connection. Six of Cups energy with harmony. Wow. Someone, it's, it's almost like they would rather stay trapped in fear or trapped in their own head than just come out and say what they need to say. Someone is retracting their emotions, whether that's you or, or someone you're dealing with. Let's go ahead and clarify. Tell me more, please about this energy for Aries and their situation this week. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, tell me more about this energy for Aries and this person. What's going on with them this week? What? Okay, something just flipped out. Seven of Swords. See, someone is running. Why did that Seven of Swords flip out just now? What is that? Star card. <laughs> 
Now, someone could be healing, running away, trying to heal. But what I feel like is that what someone is not telling you, they're running away from communicating. But what they're not telling you is that they put you on a pedestal. They see you as the star. You stand out to this person. Wow. Let me let me put that to the side. Someone could be running away from the spotlight. They're not good at being in the spotlight or they're not good at having the spotlight on them. Yeah. Okay. I want to say that as well. Why is obstacles and challenges here? Knight of Cups, the Sun, Knight of Wands. Someone has an issue. The obstacle and challenge is someone having an issue with just opening up and saying, hey, Aries, I want to date you. Knight of Cups could be dealing with a younger water sign. Some of you could be dealing with the Leo with the Sun card. It's like someone wants to tell you, like, you make me happy. I want a baby with you. <laughs> someone could be saying, like, look, let's make a baby. I want to do it with you. Knight of Wands. I really want this with you. Someone could be around the same age right here with two knights. But I'm feeling this energy. Like, someone feels happy with you. You make this person almost feel giddy. I'm getting a very giddy type energy. <laughs> And maybe they're not used to being like this. Maybe they're used to playing it cool and, you know, they have it all under control around other people. But when it comes to you, this person may be feeling like uh, like a little kid, you know, like a, a kid on Christmas. Like they feel excited to get to unravel you, like open a new gift, you know, it's that excitement. And that's this, that's a challenge for this person. They see it as a challenge. <laughs> wow. What is heart chakra here for? Okay. Two of swords, nine of pentacles. Okay. They're like, are you single? Are you single Aries? Two of swords. Like what? <laughs> they're, they're in this indecisive mode. They don't know what to think. They don't know if you're single or not. They're trying to figure it out. Is Aries single? They're definitely attracted to you with the Nine of Pentacles. The hangman, they're trying to figure this out. They're hanging around. They're trying to figure this out, okay? This is what's in their heart. They're hoping that you're single. They're hoping that you're available, okay? That Three of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. They want to work something out with you. They po could possibly want to meet up or date, with that Three of Pentacles energy, <laughs> they're trying to figure you out, but they're scared. Someone is really afraid of telling you how they feel. What is trapped in fear? Yeah, Ten of Cups, Seven of Wands, Five of Cups. This, I was about to say, let me get that last card. <clears throat> I was about to say when that Ten of Cups came out with Trapped in Fear, to clarify someone went through something could be going through something currently or went through something in their uh recent past where it didn't work out something didn't work out this person it's almost like <clears throat> excuse me you know when you've been hurt so much it's like you're afraid to be happy again and you think that something bad is gonna happen so this person's fear that they're trapped in, because remember, fear is an illusion. The fear that they're trapped in is that they find their person, like they find this connection with you, and then something goes wrong. Seven of Wands, where they get blocked or rejected, and they lose out, Five of Cups, on an opportunity to have happiness. So this is, this is a recurring fear that keeps cycling in this person's mind. That if I put my emotions out there, I'm going to get hurt. If I try to start something with someone and I have my Ten of Cups, I'm going to get rejected or Aries may block me, you know, not just block like somebody's number, like block out someone emotionally. Like, no, I don't want you. Reject them. Someone is afraid. Maybe they went through this in the past because Five of Cups represents past regret. So someone is afraid that if they get their hopes up, they're going to get crushed because what I see is that they hold you in such a high level or high position in their mind. They almost put you on a pedestal and this scares this person, seven of swords. That's why they emotionally withdraw. I don't think they've ever had someone to make them feel this way, Aries. 
the love that they have for you kind of scares them. Okay. And this is why it's almost like they're withdrawing, you know, trying to go by like the scenery in, in this card, go by a beach, calm them themselves down, kind of calm their nerves down. It's like this person may deal with extreme nervousness or just a lot of fear, lots of fear. Okay. And they're trapped in their own mind. I don't feel like you've given this person any reason to doubt, but there's a lot of fear here surrounding what if it doesn't work? What if it doesn't happen? And so they're struggling with, with coming toward you or just saying what they need to say. And they are afraid that you may not be single. They're afraid that you may not be single. How do you feel about this person, Aries? How does Aries feel about this person? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, how is Aries feeling about this person or this situation? Let's draw. The Magician, how is Aries feeling? Five of Wands. Okay. <laughs> okay, so um, you may not... You may not think very highly of this person. You may feel like this person, all they do is manifest confusion or competition. Um, I feel like more confusion. Like this, <laughs> You may feel like this person is dramatic or, you know, because they're emotionally withdrawing, you feel like this person leaves you out in the cold or they ghost. There's something here. And it's... This is similar, I have to say, this is similar to Sagittarius's reading. Some of you may be dealing with a Sagittarius, okay? Or you may be a, a, a an Aries, sorry. You may be an Aries with Sag in your chart, okay? Maybe you have a Sagittarius rising or moon sign, Venus, something like that. But anyway, it's this energy of you may be thinking one thing, and this person is really dealing with something totally different than what you think. So there's a need to get more information because this person thinks so highly of you. They want to be with you. You stand out to them. They're very attracted to you. They want to offer you a cup. They want to date. You make them happy. They feel giddy around you. Um, but it's something here where... They're scared that you're going to get away from them. They're scared to lose you. They're, they're afraid. And you may feel like this person just causes drama or they, they ghost. And, and you may be like, they're too childish. or And it's like, really, they're just scared. Point blank period, this person is scared, but you do not think very highly of them. <laughs> okay, I was about to say, how do they feel about you? They feel that you're distant. Yeah, they don't like it. You're distant with them. Three of Wands. How do they feel about Aries? Six of Swords. They see you as moving on. They have feelings for you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Could be dealing with a water sign or just someone who has feelings. Look at that King of Cups. Oh, look. Now we have King of Pentacles with Ten of Wands. This is a burden on this person. They feel overwhelmed. They feel like they're losing you. Okay. Knight of Swords, they're panicking. Someone is panicking and they're overwhelmed by this. They want a relationship with you. King of Pentacles, they want something stable with you. But they feel like you're moving on possibly to be with someone else. Okay? Someone is feeling anxiety or they, they feel panicked, nervous that you're going to move on. And it's almost like their worst fears are coming true because they're emotionally withdrawing. And when that happens, it makes you feel, it's like you're act, you're reacting off of their actions, okay? So the more they hold back, the more you feel like they're ghosting you, okay? And it's like they are, but it's not the reason that you think. That's what I want to say. But they, they know that you're getting away from this connection and they know you're tired. Someone knows that you're tired and fed up and this is very difficult for them. They're kind of panicking. So what does this person plan to do? What are their next actions for Aries? What is the... This is too many cards. Okay. All these chunks came out. What is this person's next actions for Aries? 
Okay, a little bit of communication comes in with the Page of Wands that communicate a little bit. Okay, what's their next actions toward Aries? <clears throat> Excuse my, my voice, you guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. What is this person's next actions? Look at that. Oh my gosh. The Two of Cups. Oh, there's a lot of secrecy with this person. Lots of secrecy. Okay, the cards are coming out. Look at that. King of Cups, King of Wands. They want to take action. Look, Chariot Energy, Cancerian Energy. We have Fire Sign Energy. All the signs are here. This person wants to move things forward. They want to tell you how they feel. King of Cups, they want to take action. They want to move things forward to a relationship. Four of Wands. There's the Queen of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. They want to make this work. They want a stable relationship with you. They see you as someone that they could have a future with. And what was that last one? Look, Eight of Wands. They could want to want to move toward you, like locationally, like make a an actual move toward you. They could just want to send you messages and want to tell you, I want this with you. That's their next actions. They're going to tell you how they feel. Wow. This is their desire. They're going to tell you, I desire you. Boy, they are attracted to you. <laughs> Aries. Ooh, this person deeply desires you. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Ace of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. There it is. The big solid offer, the big coin. They want something serious with you. They may even want to propose. Okay. With that Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, to you. <laughs> King and Queen of Wands. That King of Wands already came out. We have King and Queen of Pentacles. Now we have King and Queen of Wands. Extreme attraction. You're attracted to this person too, don't front. Oh, yes, you are. You're attracted to this person. You may not think very highly of them, but you are attracted to this person. Uh-huh. There's a connection here. Their, their next actions, they're going to possibly, I mean, I don't want, want to ruin anything. <laughs> They may possibly propose, they may offer you the keys to a house or something like that, or say, hey, let's move in together, you know, let's let's be together, okay? They want you, they desire you, okay? Yeah, this person could be secretly strategizing to save up money or secretly strategizing on how to fix this after there's been rejection. See, they know <clears throat> that you've been feeling rejected. They know this. And they know this is possibly why you walked away. Eight of Cups, some of you could have already walked away from this situation and moving on to be with other people, okay? And this person is afraid of losing you, but it shows me that their next actions are them coming in to <clears throat> offer you Two of Cups, offer you something solid. What's the advice for Aries in this situation? What's the advice for Aries? Okay, something fell out romance <laughs> a lot of the signs are getting this card but romance is here someone is very romantic they may plan something for you guys okay someone is very romantic you're getting a very intense lover i'll tell you that take action just flipped over <clears throat> i feel like someone is about to take action okay and there will be a chance to go through some type of recovery with each other, recovering what was lost, rekindling that connection. Okay. It's always up to you. You know, don't feel forced to do anything. If you've already moved on, you've already moved on. But for some of you, spirit is saying there's an opportunity to recover. Okay. And someone is going to take action. Okay. For this romance. <clears throat> so let's get a cardboard cutout. Haven't done these in a while. So Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, can you give me some messages for Aries? Can you give me some messages for Aries? I almost said Aquarius. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. For Aries, give me some messages. What do they need to hear and know for this week? I'm jealous. Oh, well, uh, yeah, we can tell that. This person is very passionate about you. And like I said, they're not wanting you to get away and go and be with someone else. They are very jealous. That's why I said someone is very romantic. They're very hot, heavy. They have a lot of passion. This person is very passionate. So 
Yeah, you will get that jealousy side coming out. Someone is saying, I'm insecure about my money. So like I was saying, someone could be saving up, uh, securing their money, saving up to bring something to you, planning something. But right now, it's like they feel a bit insecure <clears throat> about their financial state, okay? Anything else that you would want to tell Aries about this person or this situation? Anything else? Okay, two more. I'm obsessed. <laughs> yeah they're jealous they're obsessed lots of obsessive energy that could be a, a good thing for some people and then some people uh this is a bad thing so take it as it resonates and then someone is saying let's get married capricorn got this capricorn got this energy so some of you may be dealing with the capricorn let's get married this person is obsessively i feel thinking about getting married to you Okay, they want this with you. They want to tell you how they feel. And I feel like it's going to come out very frantically because they don't want you to get away. Okay, and they don't want to see you with anybody else. All right, Aries. Okay, that is your energy for this week. Don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Also share this video and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monet Tarot. I look forward to hearing from you again before I go, you guys. Thank you so much for the love, the support. Thank you for sticking with your girl. Um, I'm still testing positive at the moment. I'm hoping to test negative. Um, and I'm still healing day by day. Okay, you guys, this thing, <laughs> this virus, it's up and down for me. Some days I feel really good. Some days I feel weak. So again, keep me in your prayers as I continue to recover from this virus. Thank you guys so much again. Stay safe out there. I will talk to you soon. Bye.